to Cactical Maine. That's right, dudes and dudettes. Welcome back to Character Maine. I'm a happy dude. Why am I a happy dude? Because we had a Hunter Rouse showdown. What the hell's he talking about Hunter Rouse showdown? He ain't never done a Hunter Rouse showdown. What does that even mean? That means we took these and we had a Hunter Rouse showdown. Duh! Alright, before we go any further in this video, YouTube, guess what? Both firearms are unloaded. Yes. Both firearms are unloaded. And all shooting taking place in this video was performed at a professional, safe, certified range. All firearms will remain unloaded. There will be no ammunition in this video, YouTube. For those of you that are watching that think we clear firearms for you, get over yourself. All right, so what in the world does a Hunter Round Showdown mean? Hunter Round Showdown means that you're coming to Cactus Domain and you're gonna watch this goofy ass's opinion on two pistols. And yes, I am going to pick a wiener wiener. No, not a wiener wiener, a wiener wiener chicken dinner. On which pistol I personally like more. We're gonna go through and compare some things on them. Uh, if I don't pick a, a winner on a certain comparison, that means I believe they're equal. I'm very good at rambling on, so hopefully you can get through this video. <sighs> Out of the box, MP 2.0. Actually, before we do that, round counts. MP 2.0 I've had for a few years now. Five inch, beautiful brown beast. Ah, uh, brown beast, I love brown beast. Yes, yes, you just saw that. Brown Beast has 5,300 and some odd rounds. We were at uh, 5,200 and some odd rounds. The last update I did at Brown Beast, we just did another 100, so 5,300 and some odd rounds. Hefty round count. Healthy round count for Brown Beast. CZP-10F. I've only had this thing for maybe a month. If not, we are now at 400. 400 rounds. We were at 300, then we just took her to 400 rounds. Out of the box. Out of the box, MP 2.0, five inch, comes with three 17 round magazines for a 17 plus one capacity. The CZP 10 I have here is the suppressor ready with the night sights threaded uh, barrel. And it comes with two 19 round magazines, standard capacity, with plus two extensions all right from the factory. Factory YouTube, no modifications here. 
factory. And that's a fact. So much facts, it's factory. But if you get the standard CZP-10F, it's coming with two 19 round magazines. Uh, barrel length on this, I have measured it, but nothing specifically scientific and accurate. I'm getting just under five and a half inch barrel on the MP 2.05 inch, obviously five inch. Side lengths are a little bit different. The P10F is just a little bit shorter. The MP 2.0, and it's just a tad bit longer than a Glock 17. Just a little bit different. The grip height is astonishingly different. I'm gonna just show you out right here. We've, we've got them lined up. See how much more is on that grip? Well, that comes with two more rounds in the standard magazine that comes factory. So, yeah, you're going to have that. Let's talk about slides real quick. The slides. MP 2.0 has a longer, seems like a little bit of a heavier slide. I don't know, but it is a, to me, my personal opinion, the slide heights look the same. I'm talking about the slides, nothing else. The slide height looks the same. You have some like eighth, eighth. Not even half serrations, like eighth of a scallop serration on the front of the MP 2.0. They work. Uh, they're not the greatest, but they do work. And you also have scallop serrations in the back, which are great. The MP 2.0 is easily manipulated with your press checks if you're a press check and do it or do that. The CZ P10 series has front serrations and rear serrations that are just amazingly cut and feel great and perfect amount of grippiness. And they're not, they're grippy enough that they're going to get you if your hands are soaking wet, but you're not going to slice your fingers off with them. They're amazingly done. CZ P10F gets a win on, yeah, CZ P10F gets a win on the serrations. Now we're at the grip. Gentlemen. 5,300 plus rounds on brown beast. For someone to spend that much time and just shooting. Ammo used to be cheap when we did most of that. So I'm not even gonna say to spend that much money, but to spend that much time, you would think that person loves that grip. And guess what? I do love that grip. However, listen here, some bitch. Mmm. I, I, I can't even explain if it's the grip texture or just the way the grip is and the way my hand fits up in it. It's And it's longer and I have more. When I'm gripping the, the MP 2.0 Brown Beast, I'm kind of feeling like a Glock 19 a little bit with my pinky, my pinky like not having anywhere to go. It's great that they fit 17 rounds in that short of a space, but it is a little bit short. But what does that tell you? This is easily, easily, don't let the length of it fool you. This is easily concealable this however you're not going to but back to the grip well you can't you're just gonna have to work at it back to the grip czp 10f it wins it wins i'm sorry guys i'm sorry brown bees fans this grip kicks this grips booty bang as far as concealability we're gonna go ahead and call a win on this but uh there's only this rare breed of people that can still carry full-size firearms. I'm one of them. You might be one too. You might be a single stack dude being like, what the hell is he talking about concealed carrying these things? People do it. Let's talk triggers. Factory triggers. Because that's what we have here. We don't modify things, YouTube. I am one of the rare breeds. And if you go back through all my videos, all way back in the day, the M&P 1.0 trigger, I loved. Everybody else on the planet hated it. I loved it. So naturally, the M&P 2.0 trigger, I love even more. Great trigger. We're not going to be able to get a whole lot on here. Very good like, but we might. Boom. Reset. Boom. Nice, short, audible, tactile, all of the above. Love the trigger. One thing I really don't like is the hinge and the amount of curve to it. But hey, you know what? 5300 rounds, it's never failed me. It's been perfecto. CZP10 trigger. You know what? Uh, yeah, I gotta do it that way. There's a reset, break, crisp, oh. Reset, break, oh. Who let me get this? What the? F CZP10 F-Series wins on the trigger. 
Granted, there's only 400 rounds on this thing, so if I experience any issues or any quirks with it, CZP-10F is going to lose that point in the future, and it's gonna go back to the MMP. It's, it, you've got to understand how this feels to me. If you've been a subscriber to the channel for a long time, you gotta understand how this feels to me to choose a chick, a trick, a chick, a trigger, a trigger that has 400 rounds on it over the trigger that I've loved for the past few years with 5,300 rounds on it. I don't know what else to say. I love this pistol. I extremely love this pistol. Brown Beast. So, now let's go to shootability. And remember guys, this is all my opinion. This cactus little man, he drinks coffee and he pisses people off and he makes people laugh and he slurps his coffee and he's whatever. It's my opinion. <sighs> CZP-10F recoil. This is not a millimeter even considered recoil. The way it shoots in your hand is 10 times flippier. than Brown Beast. Brown Beast shoots 10 times better. Now, in the beginning, the very first time I took this out to the range, I also had Brown Beast. I put a few pews through Brown Beast and I put a few pews through the CZP-10F. And I was 100% flatter shooting with Brown Beast. The MP 2.0. 100%, without a doubt, flatter shooting. I chalk that up to, hey, maybe it's because I get a lot of rounds to this and other MMPs, and I'm used to that, and this is my first CZ P10, P10 series, anything. And then I just kept on shooting, and no, and I, and I took a, a look at it, and no, the slide does sit higher on the frame. And it gives... A little bit more of a rocking action. If I have B-roll that can depict that, it will be playing. Um, Brown Beast is, if you have a proper grip and you're not worn out from trying to do a thousand rounds in one session, um, it's flat. It's like a laser. Recoil and the way it shoots, I guess we call that shootability. Shootability. Brown Beast all day long. Takes the win. No. There's no, no competition whatsoever on that. She wins that one. Accuracy. Ha, I freaking suck with pistols. <sighs> it's like 10 years ago, I didn't think pistols could be accurate. And, and for sure, I could never be accurate with a pistol. So on accuracy, mm, I think with pistols, a whole lot more goes into it than just the pistol. It goes into the shooter, the person behind a trigger. Uh, so it could just be that I shoot this one better, but I am far more accurate with brown bees than I am the P10F. And these 100 rounds, Brown Beast demolished the P10F. So which one is it, Cactical Man? Which one wins this 100 round showdown? We sat through a fucking long video. If you're talking about them and da 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 da. Remember, this is just my opinions. But, uh, which one is it? Is it the CZP10F? Oh my god, I fucking love this thing. Whew. Or is it the MMP 2.05 inch Brown Beast? Oh, this one. <sighs> Drum roll, please. <laughs> Which one is it? Who wins the 100 round showdown? CZP 10F versus Brown Beast. <laughs> That's right, Brown Beast is. This is a freaking amazing pistol, dudes and dudettes. Uh, Brown Beast has a special place in my heart, and this pistol just runs. It runs, it shoots, it's amazing. Uh, that's all I got to say about that. Thank you for stopping by Capture Command. If you want to support the channel, click on the affiliate links in the description down below. Some of you are using the affiliate links, and I thank you very much for that. If you want to take it even further, we got uh, Patreon and memberships. Check you in the next video, dudes and dudettes. Nope, before we before we close it out, let me know. Y'all want to keep seeing these uh, 100 round showdowns? They'll obviously get better as time goes on, and I actually get a format to them instead of just. Oh, oh.
swinging it. Alright, check in the next video, do's and do that.